If you haven't heard of snipping tool, it's built into your Windows operating system. So instead of using the print screen button, which pretty much print screens everything and your bathroom wall and the curtains, um, snipping tool is a much easier way to make a screenshot of a specific area and even be able to modify it. So if you're not sure where snipping tool is, the fastest is to press your Windows button and just type snip and you'll find snipping tool. So once I have snipping tool, to use it of course, um, if I click on it, it'll open, I can go new, and once I do that, it'll gray out my screen and I can then make a snip of something specific. What's important to note though, is that, um, I just want to close this and open it again, is if your snipping tool has a strange, and now it's interesting because I've changed this. Hmm. There we go, there we go. So this uh, little mode button that you see there says freeform snip, and that's when you have a little scissors and you can actually cut strange shapes. And then of course, um, going back to snipping tool again, you'll see that there's a rectangular, window snip is the whole window. So, um, and then rectangular snip is the one that we use uh, most of the time. So as I mentioned, very easy to do, is just take a snip, once you've taken the snip, you can of course highlight certain things. Um, you can write on the snip and say, this is important. You just need to copy it again. Now the tricky thing is, is that when you want to take a snip of a drop down menu, as soon as I open Snipping Tool, it'll collapse the menu. Now, since Windows 10 was launched, Snipping Tool has been updated. And you'll see that when I go Snipping Tool, there's a delay button. So if I say, give me a two seconds delay, and I then say new, I can click on this button and then snipping tool will start up. Now I can say, hey guys, there's that uh, transitions that I told you about. Here's the new morph, which I think is pretty amazing. And maybe um, the, I don't know, flip slide is also a good one to use. So using the delay function allows, um, and then saying new, allows you to just quickly do something before the screen freezes for you to be able to take that snip. I hope that this uh, helps you a lot for you to use Snipping Tool a lot better and stop using that print screen button, which as we mentioned, just print screens everything and you have to go and crop it.